What up, y'all, DC Fago guy? We got ourselves a package. With this package comes a little bit of an announcement. If you guys don't remember, last year I wanted to do a series of reviews dedicated and called The Summer of Strange. Dropping all my Strange Music album reviews that I haven't dropped yet. I missed that completely. And I was planning to do it for this year as well. But I decided... With Mayday's new album getting ready to come out, I'm anticipating it to be a March release date. So I was like, okay, we'll dedicate March to doing all of our Mayday reviews, and we'll call it Mayday March, you know? All the albums here that they've released through Strange Music, variously reviewed, dropped through the month of March. But then I remembered, I fucked up. They have albums that came out before they were on Strange Music. I've heard them. I've listened to them. I like them. For whatever reason, I never bought the albums. So, that's what we bought. Let's crack into this and take a look. I totally said everything that's in this. Whoa, something fell. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little, it's like a business card. Ah, from the looks of it. Oh, hell yeah, that's pretty dope. Mayday it has all their social media links on there. Their social media, Twitter, uh, Bandcamp, Facebook. It's got their website. Dope shit. That's actually really cool. I like that business card. We're going to hang on to that for sure. Make sure there's nothing else in the package. There is not. So what I bought, and I think, I hope this is the right order. Oh, thank God. I was worried. Some of these CDs said something about coming in a cardboard sleeve. I knew the, I anticipated the EPs would just because most artists, when they release an EP, they just put it in a little cardboard sleeve. But we have the debut Scythe, uh, Scythe, self titled album Mayday, which honestly to me, this is basically like a Burns album. I know it was Burns and uh, Plex Luther, but uh, well, Plex really didn't do much singing, it was basically all Burns. I was surprised by this album. One of the things that Mayday has drawn me into is their good vibe feeling, the, the good vibe music that they put out. And listening to this, this was like some hip-hop shit right here. So I think a lot of the hip-hop heads, if you've never listened to this, you'll enjoy that. But we'll talk about that when we do the motherfucking review. Um, I did pick up the second one that they put out. Now I have the first one. Uh, the Technology EP. Pretty dope shit. That was when they... Um, they actually introduced Recognize. He joined about the time this must have came out. I know they've dropped their history before, and I'm foobarring the shit out of it. But this right here, this EP actually has a, a unique sound that then goes into Stuck on an Island, which to me has a really unique sound. This this is like a mix of like... Uh, like when you go on Apple Music, it actually labels this as alternative. It has like an alternative slash... Uh, I want to say like 70s, 80s rock. It has a lot of those kind of guitar riffs in there. But then, you know, like the classic Mayday shit. I love it. I fucked with it. But yeah, this is uh, adding them finally to the collection. Doing Mayday right. Not just being uh, biased to their strange music releases. We now have all of their shit. And I need to make sure that I put these in the right order. So that when they go on my tower, they are in the right order. But goddamn, have they released some music. Look at this stack. Look at this fucking stack of music. Hell yeah, we are going to be reviewing every one of these albums. Um, what I'm not sure, this actually, you know what? I do need some feedback from y'all watching this right here, right now. And that is, uh, do you think I should include the solo albums? In here I do have Burns and Recognize the Solo Albums. Should I do those with the with the March Mayday? Or the Mayday March? Bleh. Should I include those in the... May <laughs> should I include their solo albums in the Mayday March reviews... Or should I do them separately? Leave that down below. Let me know if I should include their solo albums or not. I will be doing Murs Day because it's technically May Day with Murs. Uh, but what do you guys think about the solo stuff? Should I do that in May? Uh, should I do that in March? Jesus Christ! Should I do that in March or should I wait and do their solo stuff separately? I need that comment down below. Anyway, that is what we got. Stay tuned. March is coming. May Day March will be here soon, and we will be taking a look at. Mayday's discography. Pre-strange and strange. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.